welcome, welcome. In today's video, I'm gonna show you my struggle with air dry clay from start to finish. I'm making a Krampus head in this video and I was struggling with how I wanted his mouth and eyes and everything to look, um, but I figured what the heck, I may as well show you my little start to finish of that crazy process and how long or how many times I changed his face um, until I was happy. Just to show you that artists, we we don't always know what we're doing. And if you're new to sculpting, just keep going, keep going, keep going. And in the end, whatever you're trying to create will look good. It will. Just keep going. So I started all my heads off with just some flat discs. There's a bunch there. I'm going to be doing a part two of this video, putting them all together. There'll be a bunch of different demons and a couple more Krampus characters. And I'll show me painting them, putting them together, that kind of thing in the part two. So with your disc, I would suggest rotating it, flipping it around, you know, playing with it for a bit at first, just to get an idea of where the placement of the face would fit best, and if you want the face taller or wider, and then yeah, just start building the face up from there. this video you'll notice I've been changing the mouth and the eyes on this character over and over and over. <laughs> I was trying to just make a face off the top of my head that looked like a demon type face and he just looked kind of like a human at first and eh, I don't know I wasn't feeling it so if you want to avoid the struggle I'd suggest look at a reference photo of some Halloween masks or creepy pictures um, maybe make a sketch beforehand or just go for it and see what happens. <laughs> you can always smush the face like I did many times over until you're happy. If you haven't worked with air dry clay before, um, you do need to blend a lot and use a lot of water to keep it moist so it doesn't dry up on you. If that's not your thing, I would stick to oven baked clays, but this is really fun and relaxing uh, to use air dry so I would suggest everyone try both types of clays and then figure out what you like to work with best. Alright so air dry clay tips. Um, I would say make sure your armature is quite firm and sturdy. Mine I'm making with paper mache so it's very firm but I have done tin foil armatures and I didn't make them super firm they were kind of still squishy and that made my clay crack pretty bad which really sucked because I had to go over it and fix a lot of cracks so yeah I, I definitely think uh, if you're going to do the tin foil route make sure it's pack down pretty good and then add your clay on top but if you do have cracks um, it's not a big deal you just have to add water onto the dried clay and add the new clay right on top you can also sandpaper clay when it's dry if you have some lumpies on your piece um, I don't like doing that because I don't like dust all over the place but it is an option For drying, I don't know, I leave it overnight or for a day or two, depending on how hot it is here. Um, but if it, if it is a nice warm sunny day, I do stick my pieces in the window so the sun dries it faster. I have heard people sticking it in the oven. I'm not sure I want to try that out. <laughs> I don't want it to dry too fast and then, you know, crack or burn or anything like that. But if you're feeling risky, you could try that. I store my clay in an airtight container. You can also stick it in a baggie. Just try to push as much air out of the bag as you can before zipping it shut. I paint my pieces with acrylic paints. Um, I have seen people use chalk pastels or watercolor. Try it all. Just try everything. See what you like best. See what your style is and yeah, go from there. Just have fun with it. 
Um, other tips? Can't think of any off the top of my head, so that's it for now. Okay, finally, finally, I've made a face that I like. It's looking creepy, it's looking like a demon, so we're gonna stick with this face. Um, I didn't like it in the beginning, it looked human, then it, the mouth was too wide, he started turning into a clown. Um, it wasn't at all what I was trying to do, but here we go. He looks like a Krampus demon monster, so we're sticking with this face. He looks good when I held the horns up to see how he'd look when I put those on. <sighs> so yeah, done, 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 done. He's done. Um, the back side of his head's still a little flat, so I'm gonna bulk that up a bit with some clay. But other than that, he's just gonna air dry. And then in part two, next week's video, I'll show his little army of demons, the other two little Krampus dudes I'm making, and you can see how I build those up and paint them and the, the finished pieces of them all together. Alrighty, but until then, thanks for hanging out and I'll see you later. Bye for now!